back to my channel. My name is Ruthie if you're new here and today I'm going to be doing a King Supers grocery haul. So, um, I am addicted to King Supers. To be honest with you, I haven't stepped foot into a grocery store and I don't even know the last time I've actually like went into a grocery store as a grocery shopping. I've been click listing for like the longest time now. Um, it helps me not overbuy. It also helps me be able to mail, uh, plan out my meals a little bit more and then as well as having two little ones. Put that in the trash. It's really hard to like go into the store and stuff sometimes. So click listing is my best friend. Um, no, you cannot have another one. You ate one already? It's all gone? Where is it? You're all done with it? Oh. Um, no, you cannot have another one. Here. I really wanted to do this grocery haul really, really, really quick. It's already 4.25 in the afternoon. I just picked up all my stuff. I just laid everything out. Um, I still have to sanitize it before I put everything away, but I wanted to quickly film this for you guys because I always get questions about like what I buy and then also like couponing and stuff like that. I used to be a hardcore couponer and like obviously being able to only click list, there's only so many coupons I can use. I can't like double stack and stuff like that. So I don't really couponing as much, but everything here I spent $169 and when I checked out, my groceries was like $200. So I paid $169. Um, let's see if it says it on here. Let's see how much I saved this trip. It doesn't. It's probably because. Yeah, carrots? All right. So yeah, it doesn't say it on here, but whatever. So I spent $169. Um, so a little background, my husband is currently deployed. So it's just me and my two year old and my six month old. Um, and to be honest, I haven't grocery shopped in two weeks now. I do order from HelloFresh sometimes. So that's been kind of keeping me um, like held off with like dinners and stuff. I have a huge freezer stash of like meats and stuff for like dinners. So really this is more like snacks, lunch, fresh produce and stuff like that. If you hear my toddler in the background, um, life, literally. Everything here is pretty much like snacks, produce, lunch. That's pretty much it. Because for dinners, like I said, I have a lot of frozen meat already. Um, thankfully, I bought like a lot of meat right before when everything happened. And it's been holding me off. So, we'll quickly go through everything that I bought. Um, and yeah, and I'll let you know if whatever. So, um, I got some romaine lettuce. If you know anything about me, you know I only like romaine lettuce. I'm not a huge salad eater, but romaine, crunchy cold romaine is the only thing I like. And my toddler took off his pants. Great. Um, and next we have some baby carrots, because I like just carrots and some dip, which I bought some more somewhere. Some carrots. I also like just cut these up sometimes and just put, throw them in the oven. Um, I got some celery because one of my favorite snacks is celery with cream cheese and everything with the bagel seasoning. It is so good. Um, so I got some celery. I got two cucumbers because another thing I love is I love cucumbers. Um, I like it with like balsamic and feta cheese and onion. It's like one of my favorites. I got two avocados um, and I got these for Asher um, to make him some baby food. He's not a huge fan of eating baby food still. He gags but... I got him some organic avocado. So he likes avocado so far, so we're going to keep trying. Yeah, it's an avocado. Um, and then next we have just two sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. Um, and I like to just have them, and they stay fresh pretty like, long. Um, next I have a watermelon. It's watermelon season, and it's so good. Are you okay? Going hard on that water, huh? Good water? <laughs> Is that good water? Ew. All right, anyways. Um, I also got cotton candy grapes. I love cotton candy grapes. I don't care how much they are. They're good. They're organic. They're delicious. And they actually taste like cotton candy. Um, so next thing I got was some organic bananas. I love having bananas. And then whenever they go brown, Gotta make banana bread. Um, next I got some nectarines. Landon already went, got into one of these and already ate the whole thing. Alrighty, so um, Landon already ate like one of these already and 
that was his first time eating a nectarine and he really liked it. Normally I get peaches, but they were all out of peaches, so nectarines are the next best thing. <clears throat> next I got some strawberries. I wanted organic, but they only had regular strawberries, so yeah. Uh, and then I also got some organic blueberries. We love blueberries. We love fruit and... <laughs> My two-year-old is obsessed with fruit and literally only wants to eat fruit all the time, which isn't a bad thing. Um, so next back here, we have some Puff Works Original Peanut Butter Puffs. These are for my toddler. They're actually pretty good. Um, they are organic and they're plant-based. Or wait, sorry. They are uh, five grams of plant protein. Um, they're organic. Ew. Ew. I don't know. He really likes them, so... These are for him. It's okay. And then next for Mama, I have some wheat thins. These are the tomato basil. I love these with just some cheese. It's so good. Then next I have some organic breakfast cookies. These are kind of similar to the... Oh man, what is that place? What is that thing called? I can't think of the name, but they're really similar to those... You know you know what I'm talking about, those like breakfast bars. Um, these are the same thing pretty much, but these are just organic. These are the blueberry ones. Lana really likes these too. Next, I have some vegan butter sticks. Um, I really, really, really would love to be vegan, but it's, it's, I don't see it happening. Um, I'm not a huge meat lover anyway, so I don't know why, but it's just really hard to be vegan. <laughs> so, uh, it's just really hard. It's just really hard to be vegan, um, but I would like to, so small steps, I guess. So next I have some feta crumbles. This is the Mediterranean and Mediterranean herbs. This one's so good. Like I said, I like this on salad or on just like cucumbers and like balsamic and onion. Super, super good. Next I got some pickles because I'm one of those crazy people and I like to just snack on pickles. And next I have some sweet potato corn tortilla chips. I got two bags because they're buy one, get one free. These are organic and they're so delicious. I honestly can just eat these by themselves. Um, but I also have some salsa at home, so I figured I could have it that too. Um, if I bought this and my husband saw it. My husband's a huge nacho fan. And if he saw this, he'd be like, uh, Ruthie, you're getting sweet potato tortillas. <laughs> I just opened up the chips because I gave it to my toddler so he can uh, go over there and go over there and watch a movie. I just opened up the chips to give it to my toddler. So good. Next thing I got was this um, Caesar Gardini's dressing. This is the like Greek vinaigrette. Another thing too, I love Greek anything. Greek salads are my absolute favorite thing to make and to eat. Um, so I got one of these just so I can have with feta and some salad. Got some of that. Next thing I got was this plant-based French onion dip. This is organic. Super good. I love French onion dip um, with anything. So I got that. And I also have a really good recipe of a French onion chicken that you can do with this too. It's really, really good. Next thing I got was a plant-based... <sighs> I'm losing my breath. A plant-based organic um, buttery spread. Oh, yep, buttery spread. Um, I Like I said, I would like to be vegan, but I can't. I would like to be I would like to be plant-based. I would like to be vegan, but it's just, you know, small victories. Um, I use butter for a lot, so I got this too. Careful, Bubba. Next thing I got was some popcorn chicken from our deli. This is really, really good. Um, I love making KFC bowls with this. And sometimes I just like having it every so often. And I can just make a quick lunch for Landon. Um, Landon, stay in here. Don't put the chips out there because the dogs. So next we have some chicken and roasted garlic tortellini. I thought this would be good for like a lunch for me and Landon. Um, we love tortellini, so this is nice because chicken and roasted garlic. Who doesn't love garlic? Um, next, I got these for my little baby. Um, it's summer, and it's really hot sometimes, so he likes to just have, like, a little popsicle sometimes. Um, and these were two for seven, and then I had a coupon for $2 off, I believe it was. So I got these two. Um, they're organic um, freezies. This one was frozen. I thought it was really cool because he's super into frozen too right now. So I think he's going to like be obsessed when he sees this. Um, and then these are the same brand, just not with a character on it. And 
Next, I got some Kroger french fries. I buy these instead of the other ones because these are so good in the air fryer. Um, and they're cheaper. They're just like $1.99 a bag. And they're really, really good. So next, I just got some honey wheat Kroger um, bread. I like these with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and so does Landon. Um, I get a lot of Kroger brand usually um, just because it's cheaper, and it's like the same thing, and it's still really good. Next, I got one of these. I wanted to try it. This is the Kroger edible cookie dough chocolate chip. Just grab a spoon. Like, it's so tiny, though. I can eat this in, like, one lick, but... Got this, I thought it'd be really good. Next, I'm, guys, let me tell you, I asked on Instagram a while ago about a really good non-dairy um, creamer, and you guys recommended this one. This is non-dairy, lactose-free, gluten-free, soy-free, um, I don't know that word, something free, non-saturated fat, cholesterol-free, no artificial colors or flavors, and yeah, it's delicious. This is the one in caramel. I have the one in vanilla, too, so, Good. Well worth the money. It's like a lot more money, but well worth it. Back here, I have some dairy-free, um, plant-based protein chocolate milk. Um, Landon really likes chocolate milk, um, and I don't mind giving him this one. Um, especially sometimes he wants more milk. I try to only give him a cup a day of milk, but when he wants more, I try not to just because... When Landon drinks too much milk, it just starts to like mess with his stomach and stuff, so I got this one a while ago and he really really liked it so I just kept buying it and yeah got that next back here I have some extra virgin olive oil gotta have olive oil I go through these like once a month oh hey I go through these like once a month anyone else like I feel like I'm always going through olive oil next I got these I got these for the hubby I'm actually putting this in his deployment box I have a box with like a bunch of things to send to him and I got him two of these these are just ugh, these are just instant oatmeal um, and maple brown sugar just so he can just add some water and like throw it into the microwave next I have these Chobani flips um, these were like 88 cents each and then I had a coupon for a dollar or something off of five so I got five this one's my favorite the almond coco loco this one's really good too the peanut butter cup almond coco loco um, the mint chocolate chip. I actually haven't tried this one yet, but I hear a lot of people raving about it. So I got this one too. And then the s'more s'mores. Um, that one's really, really good too. So got those. Next, I got some sugar-free Cool Whip. I got this because I'm going to make some banana pudding. Landon! Uh, next, I just have some powdered um, sugar and then some regular sugar. I have three bags of chocolate chips. I have two of milk chocolate, milk chocolate, and then I have one of mini semi sweet, mini semi sweet chocolate baking chips. I've been obsessed with this cookie recipe. I'll try to show it in like one of my videos, but I'm obsessed thanks to my friend Kayla. She shared the recipe with me, and then she told me to add Oreos to it, and I'm, it's delicious, guys. It's delicious. Next, I just got one cup. Next, so next I just grabbed one cup of these Annie. La la la, I can't talk. This Annie's gluten-free um, rice pasta and cheddar. Um, basically just mac and cheese. Um, Landon really likes these sometimes, um, and it's a really good like lunch. Sometimes I just don't know what to make him, or if I'm like running low, I usually get this stuff. Next, I got this um, garlic herb fresh roasted colossal chicken. This is done at the bakery, and it's so good. Um, we're actually going to have this for dinner tonight. It's like $8, but it's so delicious. And I like it because it lasts me just more than just dinner. Like, I could add this. I could shred it up, toss it on some salad, or just like a quick lunch, or even towards the end, I usually make chicken salad with it. So that's really good, too. Next, I have two bags of this Honest Organic Peach oolong tea i don't know how to say that word but it's peach tea um it's really 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 good and this was actually on sale this week buy 10 um at 69 cents each bottle um and so obviously i had to get 20 but they actually didn't have 20 so they only gave me 13 which is all that they had left i guess and so i only got 10 of them for the 69 cents and then the other three i paid the full dollar 25 which isn't a huge deal like whatever um, but these are really, really good. So I like these. 
Next, this, I did not want this scent. I wanted the lemon citrus one and they didn't have it. So they sent me this and it stinks and I don't like this, but I'll probably give some in the neighborhood. <laughs> Next, I just, I know, don't beat me up. I know these aren't great, but I have three dogs that stink all the time. These are the only things that really mask the smell sometimes. Um, the sparkling citrus fragrance is my favorite. It smells so clean. And every time people tell me that my house smells so clean and I'm like, really? Even with three dogs, it's this stuff. I'm telling you guys, you it masks the smell of dog. So I just got some of those. And then I just needed some more um, baby detergent for Asher and Landon. I still wash both of their clothes with this stuff. They both have really sensitive skin. Um, so I still wash it with this. I know some people say no. I'm still looking for a more natural way of washing their clothes. So I'm hoping to get something like that soon. And then lastly, I got these cotton rounds. I like this for my tonic water and just cleaning off my makeup and stuff. So I just grabbed that. And that is all, you guys. That is what I got for $169. Did I get a lot? Yes. Will this last me two weeks? Probably not. Um, usually towards like a week and a half, I'm like, ooh, like once the produce starts going, my son eats this produce in like four days tops. Like he just eats it all so quick. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, like I said, I'd rather him eat crazy on fruit. I'm not a huge vegetable person, as you can tell. I do a lot of frozen veggies just because it's easy and quick. Um, and it's still a way of me getting my vegetables, but this is the only fresh produce that I got. Um, but what? How does this get over here? Uh, but yeah, this is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little really fastly talked grocery haul. Um, I know I talk really, really fast. It's one of the issues that I have. I swear it's because I'm Portuguese and we just talk fast. Um, but yeah, this is what I got for $169. Um, yeah, I mean, this will last us like a week and a half, two weeks. Um, I may end up needing to go back to get more produce, which I'm fine with doing. Um, I may need to go back, I may need to go back earlier just to get more produce, which is fine to me. Um, but as long as we have stuff for lunch, um, and one thing too for lunch is we usually do a lot of leftovers. So like whatever I have for dinner, we'll have the next day for lunch. Um, so that's that too. So good. Like, it's just like, it's not too sweet. Like it actually tastes like tea, peach tea. So I'm going to put my groceries away and sanitize everything. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, and if you guys like this video, if you guys like and want to see more grocery hauls, let me know and I can film those for you. So just let me know. And I'll give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.